Hi everyone, Eddie is here. So you finished the staining in our previous class and now you are ready to image your cells. So here we have our slide and as you can see on my slide I have two cover slips. Each one of these cover slips has some cells on it that have been stained in our last lab. Obviously if you look at the slide it has a name so this name indicates what exactly I have on my slide. And this slide has two sides. The flat side that has no cover slips and it has the side with the two cover slips. Now when we mounted the cover slips we used a mounting solution. This mounting solution that we used is water based. So if you were to uh, submerge this slide right now in some alcohol or in water these cover slips would actually come off. So this is not something we're going to do. So you look at the slide uh, carefully and you realize that if you look uh, at the cover slips you'll see this little cloud. Can everybody see the cloud? It's like a little haze. This haze, this cloud is not good. Remember that your image is going to be only as good as your technique. So if you were to try to image now through this haze, through this cloud, you would not get a good image. And so we have to clean the cover slip. But we have to do it very careful because if we're not careful, the cover slip is going to move and if the cover slip moves, then <coughs> Uh, then the cells are going to be pulled or te tear apart and you will not get a good image. And so how exactly do we clean the cover slips? There are many different ways you can do it. Of course you can buy some reagents and do it that way. You can use uh, different uh, spe specific tools to do it. But here's my favorite way to do it. You take a Kim wipe, just a regular Kim wipe, and you start folding it into something that re resembles a wedge. Okay, so I keep folding it, keep folding it, keep folding it into something that looks like this. This is not very scientific, but this works extremely, extremely, extremely well. Okay, now you spray some alcohol on the piece of paper. Do not spray the alcohol on your cover slips. Okay, so you spray some alcohol. And don't make it too, too wet, but just a little bit of alcohol. And here's what you do then. You pick up your cover slip and you start carefully wiping away that haze. And right away you can see that where, wherever I cleaned it, it's nice and clean. So you don't press on it, you do it very gently. The idea is to remove this haze. And if you wonder what this haze is, basically it's dried up media, uh, or it's dried up reagents from the staining, uh, it's stuff like that. Basically stuff we don't want. So right away you can see that uh, this cover slip, I just cleaned it for very, very uh, uh, briefly. And this one I did not clean, so you can see right away the, the difference between them. Now keep in mind that this is not fully clean just yet. So this was just this was just a one pass. So now we clean the other one, and please note that I do not press very hard. I, I do it very lightly. I don't trap too much, I don't press too hard, because if I do so, the cover slip will move and then we cannot really image it anymore. Okay, so this was one pass. You take your cover slip, your uh, Kim wipe and you kind of free fold it so you expose a different clean section of the Kim one. And this is really not rocket science, you just kind of make a wedge out of it. You spray it with some more alcohol and you repeat this exercise once again. Okay, very carefully make sure it's nice and clean. Now you might actually be able to see that there's still a little bit of a haze. You can see a little streak right here in the middle. I apologize for the reflection, but you can see the little streak but this streak is actually on the bottom side of the slide and so you clean that side as well keep in mind you can wrap the bottom side all you want there are no cover slips there and so it will come off fairly easily and now we have a nice and clean cover slip so i have three slides and we can actually have a look at them i cleaned all of them so you can appreciate how nice and clean they are right now so you can see that there is no more haze and I'm particularly worried about haze on top of the cover slip. So you can see that this the cover slip is nice and clean. And if you move your finger in it a little bit and you see a little bit of haze, it means it's not totally total clean. So you can actually repeat this exercise again. You make another wedge and you clean it once again. And until it's crystal clean. Um, so you can see right now, if I do a little bit of this, a bit more of this, it'll be nice and clean. And the, Keep in mind the goal is to not move the cover slip. If you move the cover slip, this slide is done. So try to be as careful as possible with them. Now also note that 
when after you image, you might be imaging with oils, uh, oil submergent objectives. So there might be a drop of oil between the objective and your actual cover slip. And why is that important? Well, once you finish the imaging, you actually have to remove the drop of oil, otherwise the oil is going to harden on top of your sample and that cover slip is now garbage. So how do you clean it? The same exact way. You form a wedge out of a piece of paper, you use some alcohol and you carefully remove the oil. You'll see that it will take actually some more time to do that than cleaning this hair haze that we just did right now. So just keep this in mind.